In this video, I will show you how to create a frequency table for a numeric variable. Assuming that we have collected the scores of some students uh, at the language test and we have generated this column with uh, data, we see that the variable holds numeric values with two decimal points. So if we try to use the descriptive statistics frequencies then for that variable we're not going to get something useful let's try that to see what i mean we select the language score we pass it to the box of the variables and we pick from the statistics um, something maybe the mean or some other statistic continue then we click the display frequency table to see how it looks like to generate a frequency table if we let it as a default for a numeric variable. The result is going to be like the one that you see here that contains for every value the frequency one. And this happens because the variable is numeric. And in order to get a, a proper frequency table, we need to organize those values into some classes or bins, as we say in the SPSS language. So the first task we need to do is to bin or split the values into appropriate classes. We do that by applying the visual binning here from the transform. So let's do that. So we pick the language score, we pass it to the right side. And when we press continue, we see that SPSS brings us all the values into a form of a histogram to see, visually check, uh, how our data is spread. So the first thing is to define the name of a new variable that will hold the new bin values. Let's say, let's name this language, uh, language one, Bing. In order to be able to understand that this will contain the bin values. Next is to create the cutting points by defining how many cut points we want. Generally speaking, we do not want uh, either a small number or a very large number, less than five or greater than 15, because it makes our uh, plot or table difficult to uh, interpret. So usually we select some number around eight, between eight and 12, but this depends on the type of the plot that we see here as a histogram. So for the time being, let's pick eight cut points. The first cut point should be close, not very, not very close enough, but relatively close to the first observation. So the first could be possibly 15 or 10. Next, you see that SPSS automatically generates the width to be 10 for all the cut point, for all the classes. We can define it to 15 or something else. Now, if we press the apply, you see that SPSS has generated those cut points and every value within the cut, within the specific class or specific bin will be counted and the frequency will be displayed on the frequency table. If we press the make labels button, then we will see the automatically derived labels, and we can use them later for our frequency table. If we press the OK button, the new variable will be generated and we can use it for the frequency table. SPSS is uh, informing that there's gonna be a new variable. If we check our data editor, we will see that the new variable is here and this is the one that we will use in order to create the frequency table so we go back to descriptive statistics frequencies but now we do not select 
the original but the bind variable. Okay, so we can pick any other uh, statistic that we want from here. And if we press the OK button, you see that there is a frequency table that looks very decent for every class or every beam. And as you can see, we do not have overlapping categories. And of course, we can edit them. Uh, we get the frequencies, we get the percentage or the valid percentage, whether we include the missing values or not. And this is how we generate a frequency table for a numeric variable with continuous or uh, discrete values. But in general, when we have a continuous or discrete a numeric variable, in order to create a frequency table, we follow this procedure. Thank you very much.